I'm on a paddleboard board out the water. I'm right off the Nahant Beach and I'm getting blown out to sea. Frightening moments for a local woman off Nahant Beach today. Strong winds pushing her paddleboard further and further offshore, telling rescuers she was 500 yards away. Now I'm just getting blown further and further. Oh my God, it's just getting windier. But the woman didn't have a phone. Instead, she told us it was Siri, the virtual assistant, who called 911 from her Apple Watch. I'm glad I have an Apple Watch, thank God. Lynn Fire's Jay Pozark was one of the dispatchers on the other line. I was impressed by how well the current technology worked both on her watch and on the 911, the NG 911 system, that mapping and being able to constantly ping um, to show us where she was. Uh, that made a big difference. The paddleboarder asked not to be identified, but said with the wind she should have known better, adding that rescuers responded within 15 minutes. We um, located the um, paddleboarder a few hundred yards off the hot beach, and we were able to transport her back to um, Swamp Scott safely. She was embarrassed, but otherwise unharmed. A tragedy averted with the help of tech. Technology at its best. <laughs> Technology at its best. It was all of us working together that made that happen, and Siri. And guys, forecasters say that the winds were gusting up to 35 miles an hour around the time that this happened. And this is not the first time that an Apple Watch has helped save a life. A company spokesman pointing out to me it's helped in everything from car crashes to heart attacks. And now we can add paddleboarding to the list. We're live tonight here in the hunt. Adam Bagney, WCVB.